Go. Alrighty. What we're going to do is we're going to use a substitution. This equation is essentially 2 times blank squared minus 3 times blank to take away 4. I actually taught my second year this today, so that's when you did it. You would have done it in second year two years ago. Okay? Instead of, instead of uh, k minus 2, what can I put in instead? There we go with that. So x equals k minus 2. Use the reference number, Tom. 2 times minus 4. Oh. Two numbers that multiply to give you minus 8, but add to give you minus 3. Doesn't work. No, it doesn't. So, now that we know it doesn't work, what's plan B? Or what's plan minus B? Right. It's minus B formula. So we're going to use the minus B formula instead. Okay? So we're going to do minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Just while Joe picked this question, it's a hard question. So what do we get for A? B minus B C Okay. Everybody get the calculator out. Give this a go with me. Okay. So I get three. Show it on to the calculator. Let's hope something comes out. Am I going to answer you? Ready? Okay. Three plus root forty one over four. That's great. And then the other one. Wouldn't you think you went wrong, wouldn't you? You think you did it wrong. But no, I know I I would think that as well. That's what x is equal to. Where we at? ask for x lads. What were we asked for? What can I replace the x with? I can replace the x's with k minus 2. Now, how do you get k on its own? You can be really lazy about this, right? Ready? Here's how you can be really lazy about this. So that's k minus 2 and k. They're all k minus 2's, aren't they? How do you get k on its own then? 3 plus root 41 over 4. Where does the 2 go? Plus 2. And the other one is? 3 minus root 41 over 4. Take away 2. Alright, do me a favour. Half the class, this side of the class, from uh, Matthew's row onwards. I want you to do the left hand side. This one here. You guys here. So I'll have your masks over your nose. Because that's the way we do things in CBC. We're going to... You're going to do the yellow one. I'll just go. Yeah? Oh, sorry, that's a plus two. Thank you, whoever said that. It's K minus two on the left, which will make it a plus two on the right. All right. Anybody with the blue answer, what do you get, Charlie? Yep. And anybody with the yellow answer? Yes. What? <laughs> All right. Good job, lads. That's it done. You would actually think you, you messed it up and got it wrong. All right. Let's go back. Can I move that off now? All right. 
Now, what the? Oh, never mind. I had to select this one off. Right. Now, what's next what I'm doing? D, isn't it? Okay. Um, yeah. I've got to say, worst pivx ever. I don't know. Oh, I never picked a crown. All right. There we go. Now, finally. All right, guys. What do I do here? Blank squared minus 12 times blank plus 27 equals zero. What do I do? Huh? So substitute an x, yeah? What's your two answers then? What about minus 9 and minus 3? x equals 9. x equals 3. Cool. What do I do next, uh, Quibin? Equals and then over here uh, equals. Uh, All right, uh, Evan, what's the issue here? What do I need to do? What's the common denominator? So T on the bottom, T on top, T on the bottom, T on top. T on the bottom, T on top, T on the bottom, T on top. Bottoms to the T's on both sides. They cancel. And then what's left? 2T squared minus 9T minus 5 equals 0. And then for the other one, Chatty? Yeah. Okay. Uh, reference number David for the first one. Two times five or minus five. Two numbers that multiply to give me minus ten, but add to give me minus nine. Minus ten and plus one. Go man, Dave. Okay. And what do I do here, David? What do I factorize out? Uh, and then what's the other one? Plus one, near there, Dave. Yeah, now what? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well done. Uh, Connor, next one. Two times five. Two numbers. Minus five plus two. Now better. I'm going to do it this way. Okay, now what you do? Yeah. Yeah. Then minus five. Yeah. 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 Equals. Equals minus one. Yeah. Equals minus one. Equals minus two. Okay. Tough, isn't it? Who got it out? Oh, I don't know. Yes. Why does it have a monos class? A what? A monos class. Your what class? A monos. 
Um, no. Say good your results, Harry. You might see it on the Friday. Get yeah, good results. I, I, I could be convinced to have a longest Friday. We if we vote no, that ain't gonna happen though. Alright. Alright guys. This one here is a weird one. Right? We can try the minus B formula, couldn't we? Huh? Alright, let's try the minus B formula and see if it works. So actually I might have another day how to do it. Let's try the minus B formula. A equals two, B equals root minus three minus b three c okay minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a is that okay now so what's uh minus b root three plus or minus the square root of b squared which is Minus root 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times minus 3. Some of you must have got this right, did you? Just lob it into the calculator. What was your two answers? Root 3 minus? Like that? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, awesome. Alright. See what the use of extra words does. Uh, Kaminsky, is a root tree divided by 2 or is it a square root of 3 divided by 2? No, it's a root tree divided by 2. Alright, thank you. Alright, have we killed Alrighty. Now. We are going to go towards all right, this thing here, all right? Now, yeah, it looks grim, doesn't it? Now, how do you know if something is U-shaped or N-shaped, usually speaking? Yeah, so, you tell me, okay? This graph here, U-shaped or N-shaped? What is it? U-shaped, so that means we're talking about the... The yellow one, aren't we? Now, what about this one here? The blue one? Need to pay attention here. That'd be the N shape one, wouldn't it? You can see it marks it off, doesn't it? That's the that's the N one and that's the yellow one. We all good? Now here's where things get a bit tricky. Okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the equation to what we got. This, this equation here in yellow looks a lot like this equation here, except what's the only difference? f of x is replaced with, what's f of x being replaced with? Yeah. So what can we say? f of x equals zero. f of x is a fancy way of saying y equals zero. On the yellow graph, when is the y values equal to zero, roughly? What do you reckon those two numbers are? Minus 4.1-ish. Yeah. And what do you think about uh, the other one? 1.1. Or 1.2, whatever. Are we okay with that answer? Okay. If I did question A, are you guys able to tell me what the answer is for question E? A? A and E are very similar questions. Which graph is the same as E? Is it the same graph? Yeah. What's the only difference? The GX turns into zero, which is a fancy way of saying the Y value equals zero. So where is the Y value equal to zero on that graph? No. Nope. Oh, lads. Wrong graph. The blue graph. 0.6. And what about the other one? 
Yeah, about minus 1.6 and 0.6. Everybody cool with that? We are right so far? Now, which graph is this one here? Yellow or blue? Blue. Okay. What does it say the y value equals this time? The y value equals minus 2. So where's the line y equals minus 2? See it here? What's the x value when that happens? Go straight up and what do we get? That one and that one. So what are your two answers? Uh, yeah, uh, either. You, you can't really tell, can you? And then uh, what's the other one? 1.2. Everybody cool with that? Now, what about the next one? What about, uh, what about PX equals zero? How'd you do that one? Do we have the right graph? Where's PX located? There's PX there. There we see it. Now, where does PX equal zero? Can anybody tell me? Where does PX equal zero? Where does the Y value of PX equal zero? Minus nine points. Six ish and minus zero points. Five. Everybody cool with that? Next thing. Alright, gotta go back to the L graph now. Bye bye. Up. Where are the values of GX bigger than zero? When is GX bigger than zero, lads? When are the GX values bigger than zero? Look at GX. Right, I'll just draw a highlighter on it now. Here's GX right here. What parts? What parts is it bigger than zero? More appropriately, what parts are the Y values bigger than zero? Which part is it? Do not agree there and there. Where's the X range? Would everybody agree it starts at zero? Shh. Starts at x equals minus zero, uh, minus 1.6. When does it end? Where's this point here? And this point here? Ends at 0.6. How would you display that in maths language? Minus 1.6 is smaller than or equal to? x smaller than equal to well i think i might have made a mistake is there an equal sign here so what does that mean it means i gotta get rid of these two parts here that's me on the can go back a bit further now the next one it wants is g of x equals f of x what does that usually mean G of x equals f of x. What does that usually mean? When does the y value of the g curve equal the y value of the x curve when the x values are the same? It usually means the point of intersection. The x values of the point of intersection. So where are the point of intersection? What do you reckon? 1 minus 1 and... Minus 3 minus 5. What are the two x values there? So the answer would be 1 and minus 3. See the way they all have x in them? That means they're looking for x answers. Okay, answers to deal with x. What does hx equals 5 mean, guys? Alright, first of all, wrong curve. So I'll be back in a second. hx equals 5 will mean I grab this up here. Drag it down, 
Now, which curve is H? Purple or green? Purple. What does HX mean? The Y value equals 5. When does the Y value of the H curve equal 5? How do I find that out? I draw a horizontal line, and then what do we do after that? Drop straight down, and what do we get? Minus 3.6 and 0.7. Is that right, you guys? All right. Uh, next one after that. When is P of X bigger than H of X? Actually, more appropriately, when is the Y value of P of X bigger than the Y value of H of X? How do you do this? You start at the very bottom, and what do you do? You draw lines going upwards, okay? Start at the bottom of your graph. Which one do you hit first? That's the green one. Which one's the green one? If you hit P of X first, it means it's smaller. Do you get it? Keep going. Oh, God's sake. Keep going, guys. You go to minus 5. Is P of X still smaller? It is, isn't it? What about here? What about this line here? I'd say they're equal. Would you agree with that? I'd say they're equal here. And then what about now? Who's bigger now? P of X is bigger. Why is P of X bigger? Because I'm hitting the H of X line first. And that keeps happening until what happens? Until they're equal again. Would you agree with that? So where does it start and end? It starts at this point here. And it ends at this point here. So what did we say those two points were again? I don't think we did. 4.1 and what about here? Minus 0.9 starts at minus 4.1 ends at 0.9. How do I write that in maths language? Minus 4.1 less than x less than 0.9. Alright? Now, 7, 9, 10. All right, you guys tonight are going to do 7, 9, and 10.